Here's the field for the Valley of the Vapors Stakes. Number one is Neon Beach, owned in partnership by Bloom Racing Stable and the Line Racing, trained by Steve Asmussen, Joel Rosario, the jockey. Number two, Midshipman's Dance, owned by John Holloman and Randy Howe. Ramon Vasquez rides for trainer Wade Rarick. Number three is Blue Squall, owned by Randy Patterson, Sam Vogel, and Joe Morgan, conditioned by Randy Morris. Christian Torres, back aboard today. Number four is Extreme Smoke Show, owned by Extreme Racing Stables and trained by Mac Robertson, Francisco Arietta, the pilot. Number five is Point Dexter Thoroughbreds Marisol Sugar, trained by Johnny Ortiz, Keith Asmussen, in the saddle once again. Number six is Scratch. Number seven is I'm a Mess and jockey Julian Leperu. Kenny McPeak trains for owners Dixiana Farms, LLC. Numbers eight and nine, Bulls Scratch. Number 10 is Texas Women for Arts, owned by Jay Kirk and Judy Robison. Luis Fuentes has the call for trainer Steve Asperson. And rounding out the field is number 11, Winnable, owned by Stonely Farms. Kenny McPeak, the trainer, the rider is Kobe Hernandez. That's the field for race number 10, the $200,000 Valley of the Vapors stakes. The runners will reach the starting gate. They're going a mile in six minutes. Start of the late pick three here. And they're off in the Valley of the Vapors stakes. Texas Women for Arts on the pace with Blue Squall. Neon Beach moving up. Offensive-minded Neon Beach from the inside. Marisol Sugar matches her. And those two hit the clubhouse turn as one. Neon Beach inside rides the rail. Marisol Sugar tracking on the outside about a length back in second. Blue Squall third. Texas Women for Arts fourth to the outside. A gap of two to Winnable. Extreme Smoke Show and Midshipman's Dance. That trio pretty much lines up. And I'm a mess is at the back of the pack. Down the back stretch they go. Six lengths from first to last, and Neon Beach paves the way. A half length in front of Marisol Sugar, pressing second. Blue Squall in a pocket, third to the inside of Texas Women for Arts. Then Winnable, Extreme Smoke Show. Midshipman's Dance has lost about a length. Here is now in the second last spot, leaving I'm a Mess to trail. They went the opening quarter in 23 and four fifth seconds, the half in 48 and two. So modest fraction set by Neon Beach, who went off favored, or the co favorite at two to one. Hit it's the far turn a length in front of Marisol Sugar second, the second co-favorite in the race. Winnable takes the third position on the outside, tries to circle the field. Blue Squall back and forth on the rail, sent along a little bit here with Extreme Smoke Show. Texas Women for Arts being asked to pick up the pace, and Midshipman's Dance has dropped to the back. This race will end at the 16th pole. Neon Beach has put away Marisol Sugar. Winnable on the outside is right there, and the two favorites square off at the top of the lane. Neon Beach, Joel Rosario, Winnable and Colby Hernandez on the outside trying to get by. Neon Beach is digging in. Winnable right up alongside battling hard. These two head and head. Nose and nose as they come to the line and Winnable got it. Winnable on the outside beach. Neon Beach. Third home. I'm a mess with Texas. Women for Arts. Those two and the photo for third. Now entering the winner's circle is number 11, Winnable. She's a three-year-old Bay Philly by Justify out of Mischievous Maximus by Curlin. Winnable was bred in Kentucky by Stonely Farms, who now currently owns, trained by Kenny McPeak, and your winning jockey, Kobe Hernandez. And in the winner's circle now, ladies and gentlemen, with winning jockey Kobe Hernandez, Team McPeak and Stonely Farm, presenting the winning trophy for the Valley of the Vapors Stakes, David and Linda Dinnerman, the parents of the seventh track announcer at Oaklawn Park, yours truly, presenting the winning trophy for the Valley of the Vapors Stakes. Winnable living up to her name in this year's Valley of the Vapors, trained by Kenny McPeak, owned by Stonely Farm, ridden very effectively by Colby Hernandez. First stakes win, first time on the dirt. Now you sat a little bit further off the pace than in her prior efforts. Was that kind of the game plan going in? No, not at all. But coming out at the 11 hole, she was the last horse to load and then they popped him pretty quick on her. And then she didn't break as sharp as I wanted. But after that, being a good horse like she is, she overcame all that. 
And I just want to thank Kenny Joda, owner, for giving me this opportunity. So very effective. Uh, Three-year-old Philly, she had so much left in the tank. What does it feel to have that much horse underneath you, Colby? Yes, I think she was really just getting going top of the stretch. She, she really, when she switched to the right lead and she started digging in, finding more, more and more down the stretch. Congratulations, Winnable certainly living up to her name in this year's Valley of the Babers. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to this year's Winning Connections.